Rice Krispie Treats are great and all, but they don't provide anything in the protein department. In today's video, we will make protein-packed Rice Krispie Treats in less than 15 minutes that taste like a real Rice Krispie Treat and are 50% bigger for the same calories. The best part? It's made with one pot and a wooden spoon. Let's get into it. We need to get our ingredients prepped first since this recipe comes together in just minutes. Throw a large pot onto a scale and directly into the pot we will add 28 grams butter and 50 grams 2% high protein milk. Regular milk will work here as well, this is just what I always have in the house. And I am sure almond milk will produce the same consistency but might slightly throw off the flavor of the RKT or Rice Krispie Treat. Then add 4 grams vanilla extract and 1 gram of salt. Put the pot on the stove top and turn on medium low heat. Quickly grab a large bowl, add it to a scale, and pour 148 grams crispy rice. You can buy name brand if you like, but the cheap brand tastes the same and I would rather spend the extra money on the marshmallows and I'll explain why later. In a medium sized bowl, we will add 3 scoops or 97.2 grams of a vanilla whey protein powder, specifically Gorilla Mines whey protein. If you use a different whey protein, please make sure it tastes good because it will have a major effect on the final flavor of your RKT. If you want a foolproof protein for this recipe, grab a dub, <laughs> grab a dub, <laughs> grab a tub from Gorilla Mind and use code E4CM for 10% off your order. I also tried using a whey casein blend, but the casein makes the cereal soggy and the Rice Krispie treat too dense, leading to an inferior product. The butter should be just about melted, so it's time to mix all of the ingredients together and add our marshmallows. For that, we will need two bags of these Max Mallows. I love these because it saves 70 calories for every serving we use when compared to regular marshmallows. Since we are using 6 servings, we save 420 calories per recipe or 47 calories per RKT. Now, these are much more expensive than regular marshmallows, but for the calorie savings are absolutely worth it and each Rice Krispie Treat still costs less than most protein bars on the market and tastes way better. Just like grapes, garlic, and avocado, xylitol is also toxic to dogs and is included in these marshmallows, so please make sure you don't feed any of these marshmallows or Rice Krispie Treats to your dog. Now that our marshmallows are added, we will turn the heat up to medium and stir the pot every minute or so until the marshmallows are almost melted. This should only take a couple of minutes, tops. Once the marshmallows look like this, it is time to drop in the protein powder like I dropped this recipe in my cookbook over two weeks ago for the cookbook owners to start enjoying before anyone else. If you want over 130 recipes all in one place that is only going to grow bigger, click the link in the pinned comment and use code E4CM for 10% off the cookbook. As soon as the protein powder is added, remove the pot from the heat and start mixing. We want to mix until there is absolutely no powder left in the pot and you are left with a thicker paste-like consistency, like this. We will finish off this recipe by adding the crispy rice to the pot and again, stirring right away. If the marshmallows cool down, the crispy rice will never mix into them and there will be big clumps of marshmallows in certain spots with no marshmallow at all in other spots. But can we just take a second to appreciate the beautiful snap, crackle, and pop of the hot crispy rice? As you are mixing, make sure you scrape the bottom of the pot to get any buttery marshmallow that may be sticking and get it incorporated into the crispy rice. Once the marshmallow is evenly distributed, grab an 8x8 baking pan, lightly spray it with oil, and add the RKTs to it. The Rice Krispie Treats are going to be super sticky, so the pro tip here is to spray a hand with some oil, rub your hands together, and then start patting down the treats. This will save you from getting pissed that everything is sticking to your hand and you aren't able to get an even layer of treats. Once the pan looks level like this, pop it out onto your work surface. You can divide these either in 6 or 9 squares and I will show you the macros for both. Whatever number you choose, it is of utmost importance you try one of these fresh. You just may never want another protein dessert again. Store them in a plastic bag and when hunger strikes, a pro move is to microwave a serving for 8-10 to 10 seconds to make it almost as good as new. Over the weeks, months, and years, you need more protein snack options to stay on track, like edible cookie dough. In this video here, I made 3 different cookie dough flavors that taste like heaven and will keep that sweet tooth satisfied. Until next time, deuces.